And when you examine the extremities or any joint, it's good to have a systematic plan as to how you examine each joint. And so what we'll do is we'll talk about with each joint inspection, range of motion, palpation, and strength testing. So when you're examining the upper extremity, we'll start examining the shoulder, then the elbow, the wrist, and the hand. Hand out for the musculoskeletal system. But uh, I'm going to use the knee as an example just for some um, basic techniques. First of all, beginning with inspection. And as I'm sitting in front of the patient looking at, in this case, his knees, uh, I'm looking for whether there's any obvious asymmetry, uh, bruising, redness, swelling in any particular area. And I've already watched the patient as he's climbed up onto the exam table to see if there's any. Um, evidence of a disability or um, impact that uh, the pain or the joint problem is having on him during his movements. And so most of that inspection happens just with your eyes. Um, the palpation of each joint will vary clearly depending on which joint it is. And I'm not going to go into details on the knee today, but for example, looking for warmth, you may palpate uh, each side to compare and see whether there are areas that are warmer than the other. Usually palpating for temperature, it works best to use the back surface of your hand. Um, and uh, other um, palpation techniques that you'll use will be reviewing range of motion, um, as well as, like I said, palpating the particular joint structure. So starting with the shoulder in just that way, you start every joint with inspection. Compare the two sides, look for symmetry, we're looking at the clavicle, the collarbone on both sides, which is about the same either way. Both shoulders are the same. You can see the humerus. Going into the acromion, there's symmetry between the two sides of the shoulder and inspection. You look for discoloration. You may have a bruise after a fall. You look for any problems, any difference between the two sides. Hello, I'm Eve Bargman, and this is Bill Garant, and we'll be talking today about examining the upper extremity. Now, when you examine the extremities or any joint, it's good to have a systematic plan as to how you examine each joint. And so what we'll do is we'll talk about, with each joint, inspection, range of motion, palpation, and strength testing. So when you're examining the upper extremity, we'll start examining the shoulder, then the elbow, the wrist, and the hand. So starting with the shoulder in just that way, you start every joint with inspection. Compare the two sides, look for symmetry. We're looking at the clavicle, the collarbone on both sides, which is about the same either way. Both shoulders are the same. You can see the humerus. Going into the acromion, there's symmetry between the two sides of the shoulder and inspection. You look for discoloration. You may have a bruise after a fall. You look for any problems, any difference between the two sides, any deformities. Next thing we'll do is range of motion, and I'll just get Bill to do what I do. So we'll check with the shoulder flexion, where the arm goes straight forward and should go all the way up to 180 degrees. Extension, same thing going back, with the arc going back, good. And abduction, where the arm goes straight up in an arc all the way up over your head to the top, just like that. With the shoulder, you can also test rotation. For internal rotation, you check with one thumb going to the opposite shoulder blade, and do the same thing with the other side now. One thumb to the opposite shoulder blade, good. And for external rotation, just put your hands up behind your head like this, with the elbows out, and that's full external rotation. Next thing you do is palpation. So when you palpate the shoulder, you start at the scapula in the back, the shoulder blade. You palpate the scapular spine. You can follow that right out here to the acromion, which is here. And here is the acromioclavicular, or AC joint. And right down from there, here is the bicipital groove where the biceps tendon goes. You check all these for any deformity or any tenderness. Last, we'll do strength testing in the shoulder. 
And for strength testing, again, you're comparing the two sides. So to check your strength, I'll get you to shrug your shoulders first, just against me. Good. Okay. And now go forward against me. Good. And now lift your arms straight out to the side, again, against me. Good. So that's shoulder shrug, flexion, and abduction against resistance. And that's all the tests of the shoulder. Moving down to the elbow, same thing. We inspect the elbow, looking for symmetry, looking for any deformity or any discoloration. Then range of motion with elbow, extension should go straight, flexion all the way up, good. And then we'll do pronation, palm down, supination, palm up, and that's full range of motion in the elbow. You can palpate the elbow next. You palpate the epicondyles. This is right here. That's tender in people that have epicondylitis, tennis elbow. The olecranon process back here. And you can look here next to the olecranon for any effusion, any signs of swelling. Last strength testing in the elbow. Again, just flexion against, just against my hand. Good. And I'll straighten out your elbow against my hand. Good. And that's very good strength in the the elbow as well. Moving down to the wrist, again we inspect for symmetry, for discoloration, or for deformity. They're both fine. Then we do range of motion of the wrist and the hand. So flexion, extension, and ulnar flexion like this. And actually that, that was, no, radial flexion is like this. And this is ulnar flexion. Good. And flexion at the MCP joints like this, metacarpophalangeal joints, and extension, good. And last but not least, not least make a fist, mm -hmm. good. That's range of motion in the wrist and the hand. Palpation, again, we'll palpate the wrist, looking for tenderness, looking for any signs of swelling, of effusion, good. We'll palpate the carpometacarpal joints, which are up here the metacarpophalangeal joints, which are up here, for any tenderness or swelling, and the PIP, proximal interphalangeal joints, which are up here for tenderness or swelling. Last thing again, we'll test strength. And to test strength in the wrist and hand, first, we'll get you just to push down. Just hold your hand down like this, and don't let me straighten it. Now just make a fist and hold your hand up, and don't let me push it down. Good. Now. Hold on to my fingers and don't, don't let me let them go. Okay, fight back. Good. That's good. Great. And spread your fingers out. Don't let me push them together. Okay. And now take your thumb and your little finger and don't let me pull my finger out. Good. And that's strength in the wrist and hand. So that's systematically inspection, range of motion, palpation, and strength testing in the shoulder the elbow, the wrist, and the hand.